Hey guys, welcome back to the CK3 Drengo Norman Royal Court DLC Iron Man campaign and in today's episode we're going to be looking to see if we can actually survive or continue to survive the succession with the new King Jonathan of Sicily. Now one thing I mentioned, um, well one thing I noticed even in between the last, um, last episode and this one is that our family tree is it's quite... It's quite spread out and got some quite interesting characters. For example, King Jonathan comes from along lines of Jonathan. So I feel like we should, if we have a son, we should probably call him Jonathan for to continue that roleplay aspect. Now, if we go over here to uh, the line of Reggio Calabria, of Duke Ozilion, Duchess Leonardo, who is currently the holder. However, we have Duke Alphonse of Salerno, but... One also one very interesting thing is she had another son of a different dynasty, who is the heir to the Byzantine Empire. That means on your second marriage, your first one was matrilineal, so Duke Alphonse and all that became Drengo. But on your second marriage, you had the heir. Well, you married the son of the Byzantine Emperor, and because he ended up dying, that means the grandson of Basileus Heriothos, Her Hierotheos, even uh, is now. Um, part of well I'm very distantly related to me however you are actually married to a Drengo which is huge but when you are heir to the Duchy of Salerno that could be a little bit problematic in case of succession but uh, we shall see how that all goes hopefully we won't end up losing land to succession but yeah we shall close out that now what is this we have an inspired person that can be sponsored it's got another adventure Herman, you want to go to Europe, do you indeed? Well, you better. You had better not steal this money. You're very competent in your craft, we'll do it. We'll sponsor it. 50, that's okay, that's not too much. But uh, this episode, I kind of want to... Let's press play. I kind of want to... um. Maybe look to expand up here a little bit more. Maybe deal with the Zidids once and for all. However, I'm not particularly sure how we're going to be able to do that can we land some of these people off are you who are you are you the heir you are not um wait um hang on hang on hang on you've got to have bill and you've got many siblings can we look at them plus uh okay who's the other one i've got <laughs> this is an absolute mess is male are you the heir Yes, you are the heir. Okay, so we'll, we'll round them off Habil. That's okay. We'll get the money from that. We shall collect the money from that. So I probably should ransom off Ismail as well. But I'm going to wait until we get the full ransom from that before we do that. And we're also going to just clear out our dungeons again from the previous wars that we have had. Um, okay, Osmond here. You are good fighter. Let's get you recruited. Yeah, I lose... Uh, no, we don't lose any dread. So yes, yeah, get you... I can employ the executioner to be fair. We might do that, but I'll keep you as my knight. Uh, Sunyed Yavuz will get you in as well. Oh, did not mean to do that. Fair enough. Let's just quickly pause it. We'll get you recruited. Demand conversion, of course. Ah, you know, you're not going to do that. Okay, we'll get you executed then. Don't care about that. You're a good fighter, but if you want to die of your faith, then. Oh, I lose stress as well, so we'll keep doing that. Looks like we might get you executed as well if we lose stress. Yeah, sure. Now we'll keep the you. Can we get you ransomed at all? No. Okay, we'll keep those two in our dungeon for now. But yes, here we are. The Royal Plenament, we've finally... We're paranoid, but we've managed to finally get rid of those who wanted to annoy us. The ones who potentially could overthrow us in our dungeon. So that is fine with me. A good amount of money. Um, our income will be boosted by the fact that we do hold Byzantium indirectly to vassalage, I'm sure, but we are, well, we're in a good position now. Cyrenaica, I think you're going to be my next target. You're Ashley, but you're also at war. You're in a foreign war, so I think we're going to just declare war now. And hopefully, it will be a holy war, but I hopefully half of North Africa won't also join in. Look at that amazing music. Now here we are trying to continue Queen Hedia's legacy and expand 
into North Africa. Now we're going to raise all armies. I'm going to raise maybe a couple thousand because I'm not bothered about raising the whole. It's got 33 boys, 50. Come on, quicker, quicker. Quicker, quicker, quicker. So auto saving anytime today would be nice. Come on. That I should do just fine. Yes, it is only levies, but you know, we should be alright, shouldn't we? We've got more than three times their number, and we've got a fantastic command, a 35 advantage. Look at him go. Now let's go and take Benghazi. Oh, no, we've got Benghazi. Let's go take Sidenaka, or more specifically, Derna. And then we'll go to Tobruk, of course. Come on. Let's go. Let's get the win. Please get the win. Don't do uh, any BS where we just lose. Now, I'm not leaving my army myself purely because, you know, it's it's too far away. I'm not going to leave my royal court for this minor war. Oh, and there we go. Should be an easy win. Can we just get 100% and don't have to wait for... Nope. Okay. 3%. 7 months left. Let's put on 4 speed. Oh, patronage unlocked. I think we've already got that achievement. Oh my goodness. Okay. Herman is back. He's come from Europe with a hide, which is renowned and prestige. Oh my goodness. That is magnificent indeed. Well done. Well done. Here's my courtier. That is fine. Good for him. You know, good for him. That is fantastic. Let's just quickly equip that. Or we'll put it into our royal court at some point. I probably should do that now. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's put it into a royal court. Here we go. Let's display the famed a small wall element. Where can we put you? Hmm. It's really anywhere. Really. Let's put it next to the door, I suppose. That's so small. It looks kind of stupid. But it does gonna is gonna get us extra renown and prestige, so we'll take it. We shall absolutely take it. Well, let's just keep getting on with this siege. Battle of Delano, very successful. We're expanding and developing our dynasty's legacy. We're running closer, very slowly, to the Holy Land and to the Fatimid heartlands, which we want to avoid a war with the Fatimids. We know we are not strong enough yet. The keyword there is yet. We are expanding quite far east. We may even go after some Byzantine lands, however. Oh, you've converted there. If, if we are able to get one of our own on the throne, on the imperial throne of the Byzantine Empire, of the Eastern Roman Empire, then we may be able to almost consider them as an ally and maybe not look to expand into Crete or Cyprus, at least during their reign. But yeah, it's probably going to be a fat while before we're able to actually do anything about getting any of these islands but I think for now we're probably going to push up to Tobruk and then that might be it that we might probably leave it at that not don't want to provoke the Fatimids uh, hopefully they won't attack us oh they're back they should easily lose if the Fatimids want to have another go at us they can do but I mean we've got pretty big empire we'll be able to defend our lands fairly well there we go everything is getting constructed this is a good good day I am trying to save up currently for a uh, a castle in Malta. We haven't built a level 2 one yet. We will get that eventually. Oh, come on, can we just please get this dome and done with? Anytime today would be nice. Fantastic. Guess 100% it. Enforce demands. There we go. Disband all. I seized a crown after that. Ooh, let's have a look at that. That's quite fancy. But let's grant it to a Siculo Norman. Could go to Osmond, I suppose. We could go to Humphrey de Tony. Are you heir of anything? You're son of a Lord Mayor, Humbert. Courtier. Yeah, let's give it to you. Why not? Grant Denner. I mean, I probably can make the Duchy of Sivinaka now, so we could do that. But first, I'm going to have a look at this here, this inventory. Now, what crown do we have? Sulamid crown. Okay. So we managed to capture this from, well, I presume the Sulabids. But yeah. Well, of course, you know, it's, I think it's kind of a flex to kind of have these things. Almost like the uh, Ironborn from Game of Thrones kind of wearing and having the the ornaments of those you've conquered. is just a massive flex. Yeah, let's make Sivanaica. Sure. Create it. And we shall give it away to whoever's got that capital holding here. County of Barca, Count Humber. 
bear of the House of Roger. It's currently the title of Sirenaica. There we go. We're slowly expanding our influence. Now we have one duchy within the Fatimid kingdom. So yeah, we are getting a foothold in there as well. We've got big North African holdings. I do want to expand probably more to the west. But before we do that, I'd ideally like to sort out the lands of uh, Sardinia, Corsica, and even Sicily itself. And in order to do that, I kind of want you to die, but you're feeling fine. I need you to die so I can have a go against Emilia, but you are allied to Tuscany, which is awful. Our men are Kurdish culture, okay, I don't particularly care too much. So what is the nature of this Negotiator, yeah, because they're, they're brothers or something, whatever. You've died, whatever. Okay, we've actually managed to see out the at least the start of our reign all right, I think. We've managed to survive the early part of it, just about. Uh, let's go down to Golden Obligations, yeah, sure. Get down to these Hellegeld and War Profiteer, that's always really good perks to have. Could almost be worth going down a learning tree, to be honest, because the stewardship tree, our income's looking all right, to be fair, but it's not, probably not the most important thing we have right now. Although we're really using this character to develop our lands, I feel like actually that would make sense in terms of role play, because we have managed, like, we're not the learned people of our, of the two previous monarchs. We are, however, a thrifty man, and using our money to develop our lands could be what is needed now? What is happening here? Why is why Corsica are you getting sieged by Barcelona? Provence? Ah, uh, you're ugh, why why is this all going bad? Why why are they all getting I don't care about my vassals really. If they want to get into their own wars. Ooh, Aragon has taken Valencia. That is huge. Look how strong it is. Surely we're gonna have to see a Christian Iberia now. I feel like maybe we could have tried to expand into Iberia, but if Aragon are going to do that, then we may not have to, to be honest. Ah, wait, who's the, what, what, who's exposed this? Count of Gabes. Oh, I gained the trait Deviant. Ah, well, who cares? Deviancy, okay. I'm in the thrones of ecstasy, aided by a shoe. Oh my goodness. As my vassal Count Biev walks into the room, horrified, he throws the door wide open. King Jonathan, what is the meaning of this? Ah, so we've been discovered being a deviant. Are you a good fighter, sir? We could try and challenge you. 18, uh, maybe not. Yeah, I've lost level devotion. Uh, that's not good. We might, I think we may have to go on a pilgrimage to almost say sorry and recamp for our sins. I feel like that would be the roleplay thing to do. So can we uh, go on a pilgrimage? We can. Minimum cost 170. Oh, we're nearly there. Just wait for one more tick and we'll prepare for the journey. There we go. Prepare. Let's go. Let's go on pilgrimage. Now 170 is all we want to spend. That's expensive. 165. Let's go to the Vatican. It's not too long, but you know. I suppose we might get some events with the Pope, who knows. But yeah, let's go. Let's literally just move from literally a couple tiles just from there to there. But you know, we take, we'll take it. You become Blade Master, that's not good. Hopefully you don't come for me one day and try and kill me. Love thy neighbour. Among my fellow Pringums, there's a man who preaches compassion and fellowship until he reaches the topic of heathens. Okay, let's have a look. What is the roleplay one here? I gain disdain for heathens. Aha, oh, we love that. If that's a roleplay option, then let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Compliments, you are. What's the kind of person? You are a rational empath. You are big into intrigue. You're not really pious. Compassionate, arrogant, and gregarious. Let's do your people skills if you're gregarious. If we can get you to be swayed, then hopefully we'll be able to have a child with them at some point. Because we we we're getting to the point we need we need we really need an heir. This is getting a bit bad, but we can't do it anymore. We need you to re we need we need children. <laughs> this is bad that we don't have children. I've got my I even got a special necklace, which so gives me attraction. And here we go. Pilgrims flock to Rome from all over the Christian world. Some follow the Via 
Francigena. Let's take the well, the less well-known paths in the end. We all converge here at St. Peter's Basilica, where the great man himself was put to rest. Standing here with the other pilgrims, I, f f I sense a feeling of solemn unity and fellowship shared amongst the gathered, all having overcome various trials and tribulations along the journey. There we go, we are pilgrim. And we get a load of prestige as well, fantastic. I'll be out of Sinner. No, we're nowhere near level dutiful yet, yeah, that's a shame. But yes, where we go, when we return, here we go. We have returned, fantastic. I feel like it might be time to go for Tumble Look. Okay, what is this? You, f you fool. I will salvage this. No, let's... I don't want to annoy any people anymore as I am a deviant. It means they have hooks on me and yeah, we don't want to do that. Blunder results in claim. Sfax, where is Sfax? Where is it? Where are you? That's in the zitted. Excuse me. That is pretty big that we could use that to our absolute advantage. Could we declare war on you for Sfax? Oh, but you're allied to the Fatimids, of course you are. Ah, oh, that would be ideal. I Means maybe if we, if we wait for the Fatimids to go to war, we might be able to push that claim. What are they doing at the moment? Yeah, fifteen. That yeah, we cannot. We cannot. Oh my goodness, you're plus twenty four piety a month. How are you even doing that? For uh, Caliph Bashoy Ibn Asanet, you've actually he's a, seems to be a really good character. To be fair, big respect to him. But that will not save him from us becoming bordered with him. We're going to go to war with Wali Mezian the Foolish of Tobruk. Now we have returned from our... Why can't I? Oh my goodness, that is annoying. Seize de jour. Wali of Tobruk. Okay, I gain Contested County. Does that mean I hold it or will he hold it still? Only as my vassal. Ah, let's find out. Let's just do it. Why not? Let's keep the... Let's raise all armies. We'll only get a couple thousand once again. And the Duke Gerbel once again is leading our armies into the righteous wars that we are wanting to go into now. 400. Anytime today. Come on. That's all our North African fight boys, isn't it? That should be enough. Oh, you got Malta maybe in there as well. Let's go to the Boot of Tobruk. Let's go. Got so many more times, and we've got a random person joining. Don't particularly care, this should be over quickly. It's good that we're getting all this land, kind of trying to dominate uh, North Africa. And when, when it does time does come to go against the Fatimids, we shall go to that. Okay, Felicia, a free tenant renting some of my land in Capua, has pulled an exceptional harvest this season. Okay, she wish to, wishes to use some of her profits to purchase a piece of my estate. Hmm. Don't really want them in my court, don't really want to stress. And yeah, let's get the controller, why not? I don't really, that's probably the best of a load of bad options. They don't really do much for me, but that's okay. Now let's get in here. The Battle of Tobruk, easy win. Can we just capture and be done with it, please? No, of course not. Getting closer to the kind of the Egyptian heartlands and maybe even to the Holy Land itself. We are maybe making ourselves a bit of a target for the Fatimids, but who knows for to hurt i don't really care what's happening with the the infidels over in this part of the world because i will come for them when i can when i can when the zirid and the fatimids become unallied that will be our time to strike i believe at least that's what i'm relying for oh my goodness no no <laughs> you are joking you are joking. You are joking. No way is the Holy Roman Empire just taken Tuscany. Kaiser Wilhelm of the Holy Roman Empire, Franconian. I just that Estonia, you know, Denmark. Oh, everything is like up against us. We're going to have to hope they go independent. Has Tus have you died? Has Vincentello died? No, he just became vassalized. Oh. That is annoying. That is extremely annoying. But ah, uh, we can't. We cannot have the Holy Roman Empire having to us having Tunis. 
and the neighbouring lands. We cannot be having that. That is not good for us. We have to maybe fight them at some point for it. We're not strong enough yet. Uh, one problem with the start date is that, yeah, with it with the Holy Roman Empire in Italy, it just makes it so much difficult. But can we just get this? Let's, let's just ignore that for now. I'm not really a fan of how they've done that. That makes us this challenge a lot harder to try and unite the, into a Mediterranean Empire. I suppose our goal is probably the Holy Land to take it when the Crusades have failed. But ugh, if the HRV could get could actually contribute towards a Crusade, we might actually stand a chance. And there we go. Let's just uh, enforce demands. I gain the contested county. Okay, now who is in control of that? Oh, this is why. Why are you doing this to me? Can we just demand conversion? I know you're gonna. You, you, there's no way you're gonna accept, is there? We'll demand conversion. We'll, ju we'll just negotiate. Really, we'll, no, we'll just give them. Let's get them all. Anyone I have, just get them converted. Anyone of the Mezian dynasty, let's just get them converted and out of my dungeon. Okay, I've got so many prisoners. Okay. Your Baranis. Get converted and you can go home. That's fine. Oh, we've got a Seljuk here. Ooh. Must be pretty distantly related. You're a bit stinky, I suppose. You're not like Marshall. You're, you're a, a fool, apparently. Okay. Got a Sulimid. Bit stinky, I think. Yeah, let's just get rid of some stress. GG. A lot, another Seljuk and I'll you know. Well, let's just leave that for now. Let's just leave that and see what happens here to the Abhorrent, whatever. Wait, you'd get a weak favour and you'd convert. You know, I'll get you converting, sure. Just that'll be okay with me. Now, I'm actually now bordering the Fatimids will have changed his faith. What have you changed to? Oh, you're not in our own arcade. As long as you're not... Yeah, you are not in... Oh my goodness, you are in my... Oh, fantastic, you are in my realm. Which are... But you're not my vassal, so I can't really demand it just yet. You know that we can worry about that some other time. Let's just worry about our culture. We're on hoardings at the moment, is it? That we are looking at... Maybe we should go towards getting the economic buildings. I think that would make more sense. Got knighthood. If I had any children, I would want to get them with a martial education and knighthood. But I don't have any children. So, fantastic. Um, hoarding should be done soon. Five years. It's gonna, we've got poor learning, so, you know, it's going to take 32. It isn't ideal, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, that's a bit annoying, but you know, anything here, lash out, commission artifact, nah, that's all right there. Let's just press play, let's calm down, we've expanded a fair bit over here. Let's just calm down. We're going to have to go, we're going to have to go after Amelia, I don't suppose we could potentially murder you, no. Oh, now we're deviant, everyone's going to hate us, we're not going to be able to murder anyone. Now, although you are allied to Tuscany... How strong actually are they? Mm, we could try and fight it. We could fight it is what I'm thinking, but will we regret that? Probably. Could we murder you, maybe? Got a better chance of murdering you. Could see if we can do it, just throw some money into it and see how it goes. People already hate us, so it shouldn't really matter if we get found out. Ah, uh, I'm worried about this 43%. We'll do it. And let's see if anyone will actually join it or not. Intrigue. Anyone could be invited. Nobody wants to join. Okay, there's no, there's no point in doing it. I can't even throw money at him. Fantastic. Now let's... Anything here? Demand payment from Duke Humbert. No, thank you. Get this random gone. Who even are you? But... Don't know, but 10 will be fine with me. Awfully in prison. I think that should be all right for now. Can you actually afford the... Not quite, but getting closer. 
what we could do is we just maybe get them to advance them and then they'll spend all of their money and then we attack them and then they're in debt we just easily beat their forces go to Sfax, get that siege down and gg could try blitzkrieg against them but i don't know how well that would go okay who is this to the obnoxious king jonathan i've studied the italian and vulgar language for many moons I personally pen this missive using the Italian vulgar script. A letter of friendship from a speaker of Arabic. Arabic. Okay. I wish for our future diplomatic benefits. You are the walia of that. Okay. His vein is laughable. I gain stress, but oh, we are king, I suppose. I know that's a paranoid. So, yeah, I'm afraid we're going to have to do that. I don't really care what he thinks of them, but we are paranoid, so that is the choice we're going to make. Queen Lickard is not swayed. Oh, come on, we need children. This is this could be bad. This could be extremely bad if we're not able to get her as a child. You're now 33. Oh, come on, we need you. We need, we need you seduced. Can I send you a gift to increase your opinion of me? 50, please. Can we please just... The gift worked. The gift worked. Oh, my goodness. She's pregnant. This will be the heir. Of Sicily, if it is a boy, if not, I'll have to change the laws of succession to be female as well. We can worry about that, okay. But every, let's go. That's fine, secrets. Yeah, I don't care. I, I need this child to be mine. I need it to be mine. And there's a Byzantine civil war. Ooh, let's just have a quick pause. Promoted in Cagliari. What is happening here? We... Okay, you are defending a liberty wall, that's fine. And now someone wants a claim on the Byzantine Empire. We do not want the... Wait. There's a new Bezalius. And it is not. It is not personal. What has happened in the Byzantine Empire? I thought... I am so confused. Let's just go to title history quickly. Okay, we had him. And then, oh, so there was a, a short time where you were the liege and then you, what happened? You died of natural causes at age 22. That is unlucky. Surely he was murdered and it was just covered up, surely. That is Oh, but what are you? Can can I invite to court? No, you're. Well, that went badly. That whole plan to maybe get someone on the throne it didn't go great. Okay. Now, what else just happened? Let's have a look at this royal court situation. Who are you? On that de gag the dax. Let's see what they've got to say for themselves. The unknown king. Oh, and you'll never believe what happened next, my guest. Oh, now, won't, won't stop talking about himself and all the things that have happened to him. I try to excuse myself from the guest by telling him about other matters and people to attend to, but he interrupts me, asking what job I have, or if I'm here to enjoy the extravagant beds like every other guest. Dumbfounded, I manage to respond, I am the king. The blood drains from his face, and he begins to stutter. My most sincerest apologies, my lord, I... I promise I'm not here to simply leech off your fortunes and to have servants attend to my every need for a brief stay, I swear. It's just that your court reputation is more talked about than your appearance, my lord. Hmm. Now, before we do anything to you, let's just see. Are you... Do you have any... Okay, you're, you're stinky. You've got an acclaim on some random French county. Don't care. Everyone not knowing who I am. Friendship, mm. mandatory. Ooh, you know what? I don't really care if he hates me. And I'm getting free renown. Don't care. Let's do it. There we go. Wait, can I hold court? I can, can't I? Oh no, I can't. I have to wait a couple more years again. Ah, well. Well, I'm not going to intervene in this Byzantine war at all. I, if, if someone who I was like wanting on the throne was going to be potentially there, then I would have got intervened on that, but no. 
I'm not bothered about that at the moment. We're on 315 gold, we're making a good amount of gold per turn. 17 for my domain. 9.8 in vassals. Look at that, Sardinia, Calabria, Corsica, all giving me good amounts of money. And prison, prisoner died in my dungeons. I should probably clear them out. This episode has been very useful at getting more people. You're stinky, more to execute you. You're a little bit still stinky. You're a little less stinky. You're still a bit stinky. Everyone's so bad. No wonder I'm easy, able to beat them. We'll take on the fighters who are, well, who will want to take vows. Ooh. Nah, we won't do that. We won't get them taking vows as a, as a convert. No, they could get you involved as well. Demand conversion. Sure, just everyone become Christian and that would be okay. Get you converted and recruited. I think that'll be enough for now. But this episode's been good. We've expanded a little bit in North Africa. Got a trained healer, whatever. Yeah, whatever, don't care. I'm so annoyed that the Hope Roman Empire has managed to expand into North Africa. We're going to have to somehow get rid of that. Oh my goodness, no, 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 no. Jugerba has been a pain, vocally supporting the Liberty faction. Thankfully, I seem about to get the upper hand. My wife has discovered a closely guarded secret of his. She tells me with a clever, clever smile. I thought you might find it interesting, my dear. Okay, Jugerba, I do like you. You want a mass fan of me? Okay. Little blackmail will keep him in line. Yeah, sure. As you've been sleeping around, you do. Oh, very... Naughty, okay, we've got Duke Alphonse. He wants to come and pay homage to his liege, absolutely. Now, he is of my dynasty, so I do think we get a bit more renown, which is fantastic. Get some prestige and gold. Lovely, and we get level 6 court. Fantastic, love that. We need to wait till succession here. We're only 32, oh my goodness. One more, 439, 29 gold. How much does it cost to build a castle in Malta? Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to click that. No, thank you. There we go, 445. There we go. Get that built up. Get our fort level and tax income. And, yeah, there's 21 a tick. Additional taxes. Oh, my goodness. Check out fonts being awful. Everyone hates me. And you've not believed everything. Fair enough. Just good disrupt schemes, okay. So we know our wife is not cheating on us. That baby is our baby. Fantastic. We've got some just quick things to do here. Let's get you going to uh, Totoli next. Anything done here? Yeah, that should be all good. And yeah, that is that's really quite something. Oh, we have a son in there. We have a son and uh, oh my goodness, finally succession is is relatively secure. There's only one name for him and that will be Jonathan. May you be strong and wise, my son. You didn't get any of your mum's perks, but that is fine with me. Now why would I need you to be educated with a marshal? I want to make you an absolute beastly marshal. Which means I need to give you to Duke Gerber, I think. Hmm, or we could go four star Issa, you've got your Bedouin. Where's Gerbert? Come on, where are you? Why are you not at my court? Probably because you have your own court because you're a. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I could give you to Herman, no, but you're not very good. Let's give you to Adelard Angevin. Sure, make him a good. Good knight, a good martial character. Wow, that is fantastic. The succession of the realm is finally a little bit more secure. We finally have a future for this dynasty. Yes, the Holy Roman Empire and the Fatimids are a big threats to us. Byzantine aggression and instability is also a threat, but we actually have a little bit of hope, a ray of hope in this bleak future vision now i'm going to this episode here for today guys I do hope you've enjoyed 
uh, this role play campaign as well as that episode. If you have enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.